Now volunteers are working to build a living shoreline to help restore a St. Pete waterfront. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane explains why biologists say it's critical in keeping our bay waters healthy. Every one of those reef balls weighs at least 200 pounds. But despite the hard work, volunteer Carol Marks says it's worth it. I just see that the ocean speaks to me. The bay is so beautiful and the wildlife that's out in the bay. I just want to make sure that it's preserved. And if it's one reef ball at a time, that's that's great. But just one of these artificial reef balls actually does a lot. Each one of these reef balls can hold up to 1,000 oysters and filter about 50,000 gallons of water every day. That's the same amount of water in about five swimming pools. And volunteers from Tampa Bay Watch and St. Pete are lining 700 feet of the eroding shoreline at Lassing Park with nearly 800 artificial reef balls. And this is a really simple solution to rebuild the shoreline. Biologists say oysters attach themselves to the inside of the reef balls, filtering red tide causing toxins out of the water and also preventing erosion along the shoreline. Historically, we've lost about 80, 85 percent of the oyster communities that used to be out in the bay filtering the water. So now we look at every opportunity that we can to find shoreline areas that we can restore these oyster communities. Along with the reef balls, shell bags and marine grass will be planted in the area to create a living shoreline that will further protect the shore and water. The project that uses mostly volunteers is expected to be completed in 2023. And it's something Carol says she will gladly give her time to be part of. I uh, believe in their mission, what they're doing, using nature to repair itself. In St. Pete, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.